Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be doing a resto mod custom on this Matchbox, comma, TV service van. These were produced from 1963 till 1968. You can see somebody's given this one their own custom paint job. Still got the rear door on it. We've made it into a bird's eye van. So it's missing all the TV stuff on the top, but we're not going to be needing that. There's no rivets holding this model together. It's just got a couple of tabs. So use my pick there to pop off the base. And for this custom, I'm going to be ratting this out and lowering it. The windscreen there is held in by a little rivet. Just carefully drill that out. There we go. So there's all our parts. There's no interior in this model. I'm going to take the old wheels and axles off. I'm not going to be using them, so I'll just cut straight through. And then it's on with some paint stripper to remove all that paint on there. There's actually some of the original paint underneath. And once I'd washed all of that old paint off, I then give them a clean up with a wire brush, removing the oxidation and scraps of paint that are left behind. And so here are our castings, looking nice and clean and shiny. So you can see when I put them together, there's those little lumps coming out of the bottom. I'm going to have to remove them so that I can lower the van. Begin by cutting off the bulk of them with a cutting disc. a file to flatten off the rest of the base. So I've got some nice metal replacement wheels for it but they're a little bit too wide as they're going to be tucked under the body of the van so I had to use my Dremel and a file to make those wheel bays a bit bigger. And then I gave it a basic lift with some styrene and some rod there. And there's the wheels test fitted. It's not a flat on the ground because the bottom of the van actually dips down below the base a little bit. So there's those rack things on the roof there. I don't want them. So I remove the bulk of them with a sanding disc. And then finish off with a needle file and some sandpaper. So there's the racks removed. Next, there's a little hole there where the aerial went. 
This still had a bit of plastic left in it so I didn't have to block it and I filled it with some thick Starbond super glue. There's actually a link down below where you can get some money off an order of that if you want. And once that had cured I just smoothed it off again with the files and some sandpaper. Now it's time to start painting. I start out with a base coat on the van here of German Red Brown and Orange Rust. Next I painted this with some Army Painter colours. There's Scaly Hide and Angel Green and also I've used some white to help give it a faded look. Next I'm going to use some 1200 grit sandpaper and sand off some of that top layer of paint to reveal the rust underneath. And here is how the van looks after I've finished that. Next I'm going to apply just a very very light grey wash around the door panels. made some decals in Photoshop here, cathode rays, TV, service and repair. And these are applied on the sides and one across the front of the van. And you can see I've also detailed like the grill and the rear lights and bumper there with some silver and transparent red and orange. Finally to finish it off I use a small piece of sponge to apply some very light chipping again with the German red brown and the orange rust. I can move on to the plastic parts now. So here's the rear door. It's got a bit of paint on it. I'm just going to scratch that off using a wooden skewer here. So hopefully the wood's soft enough that it's not going to scratch the plastic. And here it is, looking a bit cleaner. Next I'll paint it. I painted it on the inside with black and on the outside with the same colours as the body and then I'm applying again just some very light chipping 
and I also applied a little bit of the grey wash around the bottom of it there and finally for the windscreen again it's got a big old blob of paint on the top there so I'll use another skewer to scrape it off There was also some thicker stuff, I don't know, glue or some other gunk that I had to remove with a scalpel. And then with the bulk of the paint removed, I could give it a good sanding. And then a polish with some plastic polish. There we go, it's looking a bit cleaner. I noticed then that it did have a little crack in the window up top. So I'll go paint over that. Use some small styrene rod to apply some rivets. Then I mask off the windscreen and I painted the top there in silver. I'm going to give it a black wash and finally applied just a little bit of rust chipping again. And that's about it. It's all the hard work done and here are the parts of our little comma van ratted out and ready to go back together. And while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a moment to look back at what we started with. Our Matchbox comma van all the way from the 60s it used to be a TV van. Then it was a bird's eye van. Now it's going to spend the rest of its days slammed and ratted. And here it is, our finished custom Matchbox, comma, TV service van. Lowered and given a nice worn out old ratty patina. It's got those nice new wheels on it there. And I finished it off with some little custom license plates. As always, you can let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. A massive shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thanks heaps for supporting the channel. And thanks heaps to you for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more similar stuff, remember to like and subscribe.